What up? This is your boy Doughboy and the ever so bougie Kevin. You're really gonna do this whole episode in your robe? Oh, this is of course. I'm in Hawaii. I've guava juice. <laughs> and this is another installment. Started off to the right of righteous and righteous. The full bougie. Choked. <laughs> you shut up. The full bougie is on display. We are live and on location from and the Ritz Carlton Waikiki Beach. He in thought Honolulu, that, Hawaii. Tell him the truth while you booked the suite here. You thought that you would get unlimited Ritz crackers, <laughs> and so that's why he so he didn't even know about the opulence that was going on. But yes, we are out here in a beautiful uh, Hawaii. That's why you see the luxurious Atlantic Ocean in the back. Uh, Pacific Ocean. Uh, you know, it's an ocean. It's an ocean is an ocean. Um, <laughs> we're in the middle you know, of the Pacific Ocean. We're, we're out of the states right now. You know, we'll get back stateside soon. State. Shut up and leave me alone. And, they actually uh, do say stateside. Or what they what they call this the mainland? mainland. Really? So I was right. They say the mainland. I mean, it's the states, but they say the mainland. Okay, the good. continent or the United States. My first time in Hawaii. How was your first day yesterday? Man, it's cool. I went to Ruth Chris. Ruth could have absolutely Chris. went there in Los Angeles, but I just felt <laughs> no, that's different. Hawaii Ruth Chris. It's, it hit different. <laughs> it hit Them different. prices for sure hit different. Them prices they <laughs> the prices travel <laughs> exceedingly well. Like, Hawaii oh, this, is. Wild expensive. Yeah, it's a uh, it's but it's it's cool, man. The weather's cool. The water's really blue. Mm. I know that that sounds dumb, but the water just no. Looks clean. It don't be as blue here. It don't be as blue other places as it is here. I gotta figure out though. Are we still boycotting Gucci? I have a Gucci speedo I was gonna wear. <laughs> I'm boycotting that. <laughs> <laughs> you going to the G, uh, beach in that? You yeah, thought man, I'm, I'm, Why, who wear cargo shorts to the beach? Thugs? Where's your swim shorts? Are you, you a, you're, I know you're a black dude who swims in uh, hoop shorts. Absolutely. I know I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so let me see bag? Hold on. <laughs> Why don't black men purchase swim trunks? <laughs> I was ready. Straight I was ready for the game just in the case it went down. To the swim capri. I told him, I said, hey, man. I said, I'm bringing, some, I said, I'm bringing trunks just in case it pop off. You never know in Hawaii. There's a website called <laughs> Chubbies that sells swim trunks for the bigger men. I bought some. Really? They're actually the smallest swim trunks. I was like, uh, not this for people from like me. I don't lock it at all. No, no, you, that, that didn't make you feel extra big that no. you was ordered off a site called Chubbies? I didn't care at all. I felt seen. I felt valued by a company. Are they, are they are they good shorts? Are they good? They're good shorts, but they're like uh, they're low cut. No, so you like out here them. with Daisy Dukes? No, they weren't Daisy Dukes. They're just above the knee. <laughs> I think. Uh, what you out here wearing shorts above the knee? I was in the pool, man. I was with my kids. Nah, man. I had, I didn't know they're above the knee, so I put them on. I was like, hey, where's the rest? <laughs> no, I, I need the bottom half. <laughs> I keep it thugging, man. I got the camo shorts. I got the. Did your uh, chain rot right in the ocean? Shut up. They still shot. I didn't want to get in the pool. I didn't want to ice it over. Then people would be ice skating on it. Then they'd be like, this is a totally different experience. Josh knows. He was there with me. And we didn't let y'all down. We want y'all to know we are completely on vacation. And did we miss an episode? Aha, uh-huh, no. Absolutely not. We are shooting mm-hmm. today You're... on vacation. Uh-huh. We've been up. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. It's so here. weird, though. Why? Because of the time difference. This Hawaii time... Is three hours behind California time. Yes. And California time is three hours behind East Coast time. Yes. So, so Hawaii, Game of Thrones came on at three o'clock. Three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> no, the afternoon. On Sunday? On Sunday. You, you know how weird it is to watch it while kids are playing in the pool? <laughs> Daddy, you go to the pool. Shut up! <laughs> Talking to me. I have a theory about Game of Thrones. Okay. I have a feeling that it's much like how I feel about uh, black people that play golf. I feel like black people that watch Game of Thrones feel like they're better than people who don't. No. You don't feel like you you have a different edge on me? Why do I? No. There's a lot of people who... I just do. feel like I'm on the outside of an inside joke and I want Let me it. tell you what's been bothering me for a while. <laughs> um, people who don't watch Game of Thrones, we get it. Why are you, why are you walking like that? Melissa <laughs> was so distracted. What did they want? Room service. To pick up the food? No, to clean that room. That's you told me to wait? Okay. Um... This whole week prior to Game of Thrones coming on, mm-hmm. everybody who didn't watch it. Am I the only person I just who's don't never know. seen Game of Thrones? Am I the only? No! There's a <laughs> lot of people who haven't seen Game of Thrones. Stop reminding us. But there's a lot of people who do. There was over 500,000 tweets about Game of Thrones on Sunday. It's the most popular show in the world. I want to catch up, but I just don't have the time. You have the time. 
It's an hour long. Stop and making your seat. own homemade candy bars and you'll have more time. <laughs> this is a double Snickers Twix. Uh, <laughs> coated in a caramel outer. Because I'll I be trying to watch it. Like I've tried to a couple times, but it's like they're hour long episodes. It's not for everybody. It's for like sure. six seasons. No, this is the eighth season. And people just be into it. I I am full on nerd. How many episodes is in this in this season? Six. And they're or like seven. Six some of seven. them are like over an hour? Yeah. The battle, the ba- uh, battle for Winterfell, which is first of all, battle for Winterfell, which is the biggest episode, big biggest battle sequence ever filmed, ever, ever in life, in the history of film. It's like an hour long battle. They said it took like two or three months to shoot. Comes out the same weekend as Avengers Endgame. What are you gonna do? Or <laughs> to sit there and it consume all of it? No, I, mean, I don't know what I'm more excited about. Stop this that. Game of Thrones or Ooh. Josh, you don't watch Game yeah, of you Thrones. Don't watch you it. can't be as excited as the no battle. The know. whole thing hinges on the battle for Winterfell. The White Walkers <laughs> been marching south for eight. You know what is weird about Game of Thrones? What? I was talking to my wife about this. Game of Thrones started in 2011. Okay. April 2011. Mm-hmm. From April 2011 to April 2019, do you know how much my life has changed? Mm. A lot. The hairline. Did, hairline, hairline, hairline. What? Woo. I was down here. Yeah. Edges in gone In 2011. Too, yeah. I had, I, I think I was working at Boeing at that time. Oh, so you hadn't even moved to LA yet? No. Really? They say, JoJo, we still were in our house in Washington. We were about two years away from moving to LA. Uh, no YouTube. Yeah, no, no YouTube in 2011? No Kev on Stage page. Really? No Playmakers page. Wow. I had a, the old K Fred nine two six YouTube page, which if you you talk about seven hundred and twelve hard earned subscribers, <laughs> <laughs> hardly any video goes over a thousand. What was no Kevin on stage page, uh, no playmakers page, no. I, I think at that time I only had Facebook as a social media. I hadn't booked Wild and Out yet. Nope, I didn't book that till two thousand thirteen. Really, that's when you applied for AARP, right? <laughs> Shut up. I I was. I wasn't. Were you in LA? I was in LA. I moved you to LA. Was four, four, I was four hundred, about four fifth, about four nif. I was four nif. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I was out there. You the, was four with nif. The, oh, with the hook, uh, yeah, that was a lot going on. Were you really? I was knee deep in a drink. Oh, I know you was. But see, I didn't have the money though, so it wasn't Henny. It was E and J and root beer. Uh, What's E and J? That was what kind of alcohol is that? It's brandy. It's dark. Oh. Yeah, and then I had, I was drinking pom pom vodka. That's a plastic bottle. That's like one step above rubbing alcohol. Just put pom, this pom. on a put this on an open wound. Drink this. That's the next thing. Yeah, so a lot has changed since two thousand eleven. Man, a lot has changed, and I be Instagram wasn't even around. No, wow. I was I, so back to Game of Thrones. Right. I'm a complete, Instagram utter was. nerd. No, was it, it? It had just launched like two thousand eleven. What Instagram? Yeah. Oh, was it just for iPhone at that time? Two thousand eleven. It started off just for iPhone? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Sorry. Keep going. Okay. I remember when I first got Instagram, it was because people kept putting... There was a filter on Instagram that could make your pictures look like uh, uh, film. Mm-hmm. You know, the little, like... Uh, the little thing on the bottom. The yeah. Little, uh-huh. And that's how I found out about that. I was like, man, what is this? What is this? I think at that time, I didn't even have an iPhone. I think I might either have... I didn't have an iPhone. I didn't get an iPhone until I started working on all depths over 2015. I didn't have a checking account. I remember those. I still days. had to check in the savings under the bed. And but you I mean, told dumb boy. Yeah, it was a shoebox. <laughs> it was a divider in the middle. <laughs> My transfers me. would look like this. All right, all right. Put it back under the bed. Oh, this we, is for safekeeping. We told Doughboy that he should uh, book an Uber from ADD. He was like, yeah, yeah, how do you do that? I was like, oh, you just stepped to your checking account. He was like, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, check systems, they don't want me there. Uh, and then what? When you apply for a bank account, they it were was like, so oh, easy. Yeah, you can have one. You're like, me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. I, but I did not think. I was the same way about getting Hold a... Hold on, I'm trying to find out how to... You don't have to cut this out, Josh. We, our people love us. I'm trying to keep this iPhone open so the time doesn't go away, and I can't find it, Joshua. Display. No, Auto lock. No, Josh, you don't have to do everything for me. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Kevin. No, Josh, you're here to be my friend and edit things for me. <laughs> By the way, Josh, you really did your thing on that. Yo, Vietnam, that little trailer. Uh, I had fun, man. You are really talented. You can make something really simple seem very great. That was just a, a, a helicopter ride, and it looked yeah. really, really just amazing. Just a helicopter ride. But the way that you edited it up makes oh, it look... That was a great experience. I was hoping to meet... Oh, my man. God. Will you stop with the bougie sip? 
We don't need to hear you sip. You were hoping to do what, Josh? I was, uh, because, I mean, the, the, the ride was a good time in itself, so I, I was just hoping that whatever came out of that video was going to match the energy that... It was really, really cool, man. By the way, I was talking to a friend of mine about this. He said every every dad's job is to make it hard for their kids to uh, to achieve what they've done for their children. Mm. My kids have no shot. <laughs> <laughs> They're really gonna have to raise. The and you bar. and you are it's the bouginess is rubbing. oh Zay. I, I walked in. Are you gonna, oh yeah. He was walking around with the Zay. robe on too. I was like these guys. The shower shoes. Shower shoes. Isaiah. Come. <laughs> Isaiah is a child after my own heart. Uh-huh. Come here, child. And oh, God, he still has Come here. I knew he had it on. He's had it on all day. Come here. Oh. He shouldn't be just out poolside with the world ball. Oh, though. Zay. Zay. <laughs> He's just out there is... looking at people like, hmm. Zay. <laughs> I've told this story before, but it's the funniest thing ever. We went to the Ritz in uh, Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. and we went through the, you know, like the, the door, the, what is that called? The revolving door or whatever. Mm-hmm. And Zay Zay literally goes, oh, love the Ritz. <laughs> and that's what I do. I said, man, you're going to have to work. I be noticing when I be babysitting. Like, he orders off the, like, he laughed. And they tried to hand him a cray, some crayons and a kiss me. He was just like, oh. Come, Zay. I have the rack of lamb. <laughs> Come show people why you're our uh, why, you, why are you walking with your head like that? Stand right here in the middle. <laughs> Put your head down. This is the bougie head. <laughs> Child, that's my own heart. It really is. Hello, son. How are you? Hello. Good. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy the room service? Yes. Cheerio, mate. All right. Off with you. <laughs> Put that's... your arm down. <laughs> I don't even know what it's about. Did I? So I was super embarrassed yesterday. I was playing in the pool. First of all, trying to be a father to your kid. I thought you were super embarrassed about your frame out there with no shirt on. That Absolutely pool. not. Really? Man. You just out there, booms out. Oh, let me tell you what. <laughs> this beach going to get whatever body I give it. I'm going to go to the ocean right now. My beach body is on back order. So. <laughs> <laughs> they said maybe seven to ten 20, business days? Uh, seven to ten years. <laughs> seven to ten business years? <laughs> So I'm in there playing this game with my kids. We had a little foam noodle type thing. Mm-hmm. And the whole game is they try to get it from me. Mm-hmm. So we playing for like an hour. I'm talking about <laughs> You're really just a big kid. What? The biggest one. You had fun with this one. Yes. Huh? Melissa's like I got three kids, 35, <laughs> 10, and 12. So Joe, who's not as tall as Isaiah, uh, he dunked in the water on accident, swallows a whole bunch of water, comes up, throws up in the pool. Ugh. I was like. We're going to go down. <laughs> they had to shut the whole pool You had to shut the whole pool Oh, the looks. I bet they was mad. The people's looks were just like, mm. I was like, I don't even see drink the water. I mean, he threw up. He it up. Was, he's just like, what did you eat? I was like, fam. This from last week. It was, <laughs> it was all mango juice. But it's amazing, man. We were yes. in Maui, man. We were, shh. The funniest thing is, all they want to do is go swimming. That's just, you guys have a pool at home? We have a I've pool. I've never seen them in it. Tanisha Howard, you know her? She uh, she's a comedian. Uh, worked with all deaf a couple times. She yeah. was like, the pool water out of town hits different. She said, that, <laughs> she said, that's away water is smoother. Away water, is but it's because the pool is being yeah. heated. Oh, we don't have a heated pool back home. I mean, I but do my that, best. Ain't that the, the point of a pool to cool you off? Not with these kids. Jeez. Once we went to Tracy Edmonds' house, she had a heated pool. They were like, oh, <laughs> all this right. is a thing. This oh. is it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And the water is bluer out here. Oh. I was planning on running 10 miles uh, every morning on soft sand. I can't yeah. find the soft sand. <laughs> that sand be hot, though. For real? Yeah. When you have the, when you go on a beach barefoot, the sand be super hot. I got to get out there. That's going to be lit. Okay. They said well season's in there, so be careful when Shut you go off. Our food. <laughs> People are going to be like, here's one. He's beach. He's, he's <laughs> beach. <laughs> he's beach. Why does that well have uh, fake chains on it? Oh, no. He has Is an he album going out. Are those checks? <laughs> <laughs> I be well laid, get it? <laughs> well laid, get it? You know what we get? What? I pointed at the clock. Oh, God. <laughs> Have you been getting good rest <laughs> while you've been in home? Oh, I absolutely have. Have me my uh, my little my little goo gadget there. Um, like I have told all of uh, everybody, the right pack and everybody, the righteous and ratchet audience, I thought I had a problem with life because mm. you know life was just 
life just wasn't as fulfilling as it was, and I thought that I wasn't getting the most out of it because of other circumstances, but it really was because I had a terrible bed. So you know what I did to circumvent that problem? Circumvent, Kevin? nice word. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went and I got a new bed. The the, mm-hmm. the people over at Purple Mattress. Um, and like I like like you know like I just hit five hundred and five hundred ten days now. Sober. Five hundred ten days sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sobriety. So 510 days. I had always thought that it was, you know, a problem with, you know, I needed alcohol to go to sleep or whatever. But um, I realized it's had a, a poor trash mattress. Mm-hmm. So um, I went out to the, the good people over at uh, Purple Mattress. And, um, yeah, so I went ahead figured it out, and I got a new bed. And Trash sleep equals trash life. I didn't realize that we spend over 30% of our life sleeping. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, definitely. It's definitely important. And I get some rest. You got to get that. I'm uh, going to bed at 8.30 in Hawaii where I am now. Because of the dip, the time difference, right? Yeah. We was texting you last night and you just tapped out around 9 I'm o'clock. Out, I'm out of here. <laughs> you, are, you are an old man at heart wherever you go. But the Purple Mattress will probably feel different than anything you've experienced because it uses brand new material that was developed by an actual rocket science. It was not like the memory foam that I'm used to. The purple material feels very unique because it's both firm and soft at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it keeps everything supported while still feeling really comfortable. Plus, it's breathable, so it sleeps cool. Um, if you guys go ahead and get one, you'll get a 100-night risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. It's backed by a 10-year warranty and free shipping and returns. Now, listen, you're going to love purple, and right now our listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to the great free gifts that they'll get that they're offering site wide. Just text RR, RR, RR to 84888. The only way to get this free pillow is to text RR, RR to 84888. That's right, RR, RR to 84888. <laughs> So get you on, man. But, I mean, all jokes aside, I mean, I know that they're, you know, somebody that we uh, promote on our station, but it really has changed my life. I've mm-hmm. lost about 20 pounds. I'm attributing all of that to the oh, I, I, I'm giving you this week. Uh, you're going to have to. My back was hurting and I was like ah, nobody's going to win this week because I've been waking up to work out and I'll be like but the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we still are in our weight loss competition. We got roughly about 19 weeks left. Yeah. Last time we checked in you were you had lost you were like 252. Yeah, 252. And I was 308. Um, I ain't checking in again until I'm under 250. Yeah, yeah. So that means you ain't just going to check it again for nope. the whole rest of this? Whole... Might, might be September 6th. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about this. What's up? R. Kelly is overdrawn. How did that? That's the funniest thing ever. Did he ever think that he would be this broke? Never. Never <laughs> in a million years. It was <laughs> so funny because the headline was that R. Kelly has negative $13 in his account. How did they even find that out? How did the press even find out your... <laughs> Somebody leaked that. Somebody from Chase was like, hey, TMZ, oh, come you holler know at you, boy. R. Kelly came in. Let me get uh, three, four dollars. Right. I'm like, hey, so you're negative 13 uh, dollars. Well, I guess he had 12 play and lost another dollar. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 you don't have no money. You are broke. Broke you are boy. Broke, broke boy. Bro. Apparently, they took 150000 out of him. That's a lot just to be taking out somebody's account. Legal fees, man. But for them to just take it out to a cow, like, yeah, 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 we know you got it. <laughs> because you know in his mind, he was like, all right, man, everything is not lost. I still got this 150K. I can just bank on that. I can grow from negative 13. <laughs> Wait, but how? <laughs> that is, the woo. The fact that he is overdrawn and just. And I don't mean to laugh at his. I do. <laughs> I want him to be broke. Bro, enjoy the downwards. He ain't getting. He ain't getting it back this time. Ain't no. You can't write your bops out of yeah, it. Ain't, ain't no. Bop ain't no remix to ignition gonna fix this. <laughs> you need to fix your finances. <laughs> Jeez, I did not know his 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 money was in such disarray. Man, let me tell you what NFL players have said: two things that'll kill you: child support and court fees. Oof. You get child support and court, man, legal fees be racking up. You know what I just thought about, which is wild to even think about? What? Never seen any of R. Kelly's children. He's not, Has he ever been photographed with these children? I can't tell you one time I've ever seen him with anyone, like with, with, with a child. I don't think he really cares about his kids that much. R. Kelly doesn't strike me as a great father. Yeah. A great husband. Yeah. A great friend. I've never seen his, I didn't see his wife until the, the thing. Me neither. Did you know who ain't negative thirteen in the account? Well, hold on. Before you go, before you move on, because he was just he was just making uh, uh, he had just made a video about 
trying to make money. He was like, I'm out here trying to make money because he was talking about doing the show. He was almost like apologetic for charging people to see his show. Did you see that video of him? Yeah, I think um, the thing that killed him, all he had left was his ability to, to do live shows. And, and live shows can be really that. lucrative. He can't do that. Uh, I don't think he'd been making money off his music sales for a long time. Because he got dropped from his record label, right? Even before that, I don't think he had, uh, publishing-wise, I don't think he had a lot of the publishing. Uh, I don't think he owned a lot of his publishing. I think he had given it up for a variety of reasons. Mm. So he was only eating off the live show, which J. Cole said in his song, man, touring, that's how we eat in this business. Right. So when he started having all that negative press, um, the promoters of the shows and the venues, they were canceling them. Mm. They were like, fam, we can't even... We right. can't even do it. Like, and he still he still had fans, but if the venue won't allow you to throw your because show it there, becomes problematic for them because you're gonna get 200 people outside with bingo signs. So <clears throat> now uh, his ability to generate income is generate his income trash. is 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 out how do you think this ends with him just getting a lengthy prison sentence that's looming? Is do you, do you, like do you feel like this case is strong enough to get man him this with time? him? People have been. I, I think the one thing that has changed for sure is people are going to be willing to testify against him now. And when they weren't back in the day. And they weren't, they weren't testifying against him back then. People were either scared or whatever. Mm. But I think people are going to testify. There's people, women who already been showing their face doing interviews. So I think uh, that's what was getting him off all the times. Right. Is people wouldn't testify against him. And now that they will, I think he's going to be stuck. You know what the crazy thing when you think about it, and I never really thought about it this way, it seems like he was able to avoid prosecution before because he had money. And now that he doesn't, yeah. it's the record like label was uh record label was, was helping to front that. It's actually kind of sad when you think yes. about it. Though. So, like, if you have money, you can be as terrible as a person as you want. Then when it runs out, then you have to be... The legal person. system does not work the same. Does it favor the rich? Well, I guess it does. Yeah, it's it's to even bail out. If you're poor... Regardless of race, right. if you're poor, it's hard to win. Right. If you're poor and brown, it's even harder because you have, uh, uh, you know, juries and right. and, and um, uh, prejudice and all that type of stuff. Mm. So if you're rich and white, it's probably worse the easiest for you. But think about it, if you're a white judge and you acted up when you were a kid, you see a white kid right. like Brock Turner, the kid from Stanford who raped that girl, and he did like three months in prison. And the judge was like, you know, man, we all make mistakes type stuff. But when, the, when that person sitting across from you ain't the same color as you, you're not, you know, they don't seem to be as lenient. They, it seems like this, the, the judicial system is really flawed if, when you think about it. Yes. Because, you know, people just get to make decisions upon... Bro, when OJ uh, was in trial, Johnny Cochran never even argued that he didn't do it. That was never his game really? plan. No. We watched the people, me and Melissa were on the People vs. OJ Heavy. Mm -hmm. All the documentaries, the TV, like everything. Johnny Cochran's whole angle was LAPD is corrupt. <laughs> like, oh, they took the So he was the, he was the he was the godfather of what about? The yes. what about culture. He was like, like, yeah, okay, he might have killed him, but what about? Bro, blood wow. in the car matches him. But you know what? They took his shoes home. Wow. They did what? Yeah, I never they, even thought about that. Man, his whole game plan was y'all are corrupt and racially charged. And and then the he also was probably just a better lawyer than uh, <laughs> Marsha and, and Darden. Because uh -huh. if you ever see OJ with the glove don't fit thing, that man is not trying to put the glove on. He was just, he just like, <laughs> I, push it. I can't <laughs> not fit. I can't no do. <laughs> they had told and him. And it was a catchy one line. They had told Darden, bro, do, don't have him put the glove on. He's like, I'm going to put the glove on. Don't. <laughs> I'm going to have him do it. Like, bro, it's And when you think about it, OJ looked really happy that he couldn't get his head, or that he was giving the illusion he couldn't get his hand in. Ah. Nah, it's a, it's, <laughs> you're making my point for me. <laughs> I never even thought about that. <laughs> I never ah. thought about that. Oh. So, oh, yeah. yeah, man, I think um, it's very obvious that when you have money, nothing is the same for you. Taxes right. don't work the same for you. The richer you get... The I more mean, loopholes you have. You know Amazon never even pays taxes? I, I, I still have not been able to wrap my brain around that's why that's you. happening. So what Amazon did... Please explain it to me. Because I got to pay taxes. Hired, and I am they no hired people from the IRS to work as accountants for Amazon. So what they do is they maximize their revenue and growth. So they basically spend so much that they keep making money and, uh, and their profit... They never have a lot of profit. 
because they just grow so fast. They hire more people, whatever, so they can make more money, and then they have just more revenue, 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 revenue. But then they basically just write it all off, so it looks like they have no act, no actual profit. And they get a whole bunch of subsidies from, from places. When they were looking for their headquarters, their HQ2, and I think they settled in New York. Um, I'm not sure. I think New York was one of the options. Uh, the cities were giving them these huge subsidies because they bring all these jobs mm-hmm. there. Like Mitt Romney didn't pay a lot in taxes. Um, but people that don't have a lot of money pay tons in taxes. Mm-hmm. That just doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going to hold you, man. I have a new accountant. <laughs> Shout out to Josh and Gons. So Boy, start, when start, you have people who understand how the tax stuff works. So you did the equivalent of hiring your guy from the IRS with this new tax. It's, it's, it's on my level. I ain't, <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't rich, but I was getting just killed in taxes. Uh, but I found a guy who was like, let me show you. He was like number two in his tax class thing. I mean, when I first started this business, somebody said the, the two things you need are a good lawyer and a good accountant. Before an agent, before a manager, really? accountant. He was like, because they're going to be the ones to protect your money. Because yeah. you know the, the, them taxes be killing people. Because mm-hmm. it's hard in this business. Like, if you think about it, the only reason most people pay taxes is because they take it out of your check. Yeah. And I, when I was broke, if they didn't take it out of my check, you wouldn't finna get it. I, I, I remember when somebody told me that was probably the worst thing anybody told me when I was working at Progressive. They were like, "You know, you can go exempt." I was like, "Tell me more." <laughs> <laughs> like, it was the worst thing you could tell a 19-year-old kid that I know I can get an extra $200 on my check? What? But you're going to have to pay it back right. later. Well, I didn't know. Was, you know, you're from the hood? Ah, oh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> and when you think about it... You're talking about later now. I'm hungry now. The bills are due now. <laughs> talking about what I got to pay back later. Is it later now? I might be dead. And then I tried to, like, start... And then I started trying to do that. Well, I'll just go half the year and then I'll just break even. You get to June, you be like, man, just keep running it. Just keep running it. <laughs> I need it. I'm too far in. Too far I down to see go. I got to live. I can't not do it. I had to do it. So, But yes. no, man, it's uh the best thing ever, man. I remember my, I was telling y'all this before we went on, man. That new account was like vacation. You don't take vacation. <laughs> you and your wife are the board. If you ain't working, it's a board retreat. I was like, tell me mm, more. Tell me. No. <laughs> and we go to Bali <laughs> for a board retreat. Because mm, I thought you had to throw a show. Mm-hmm. Or make a video or do whatever. Like that's why it was so that just changed everything. What you know, you, you know what should actually make you think about taxes and how tough they are? Al Capone was a hardened <sighs> criminal who had bodies, Bruh. racketeering. They couldn't get him on nothing. They'd be like, "You ain't paying no taxes. Put the bracelets on him. <laughs> Put the bracelets on him now." <laughs> this dude had countless murders. How do you even? How do you even write all intimidation, bribery, and it was like, <laughs> "You ain't paying, go Sam." <laughs> Man, get up in here. That's, and that's how they got him on. That's how they Straight got him. Tax evasion. Tax you do whatever you do. But pay us hard Let stuff. me what my beak. <laughs> <laughs> you going to pay them taxes. Even if you money launder. You going to give us some. You going to pay us somehow. <laughs> Even with, with the whole selling weed stuff. They got so sick of people making money off weed. They was like, man, just legalize it. Give us our time. Oh, that, that's the thing. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you They're what. They're making billions now off that. You got to watch this movie called Vice. I, I, I could have watched have that on the plane the other day. Go. Watch it on the way back. Okay. When I tell you, like I knew, mm-hmm. like government was corrupt. Mm-hmm. Like I knew. But then they but really when they it said it, I was like, when they the only okay. So this is the thing I was telling my mm-hmm. wife about this. So you remember September 11th, right? Mm-hmm. They wanted to connect September 11th to Iraq. Okay. Right. They didn't have no connection, right? Because mm-hmm. people weren't from Iraq. They're yeah. from Syria and all these other places, right? Mm-hmm. So here's how they connected, okay? So say you're Osama bin Laden, uh-huh. and and uh, Josh is this one dude, uh-huh. right? They, the one dude, Mohammed, I don't remember his name, Mohammed something. Uh-huh. They, th- this is how they connected to Iraq. Osama bin Laden had met the one dude one time, like 12 years ago, and that dude was in Iraq. They were like, this is how it connected. Really? One connection, one time, like 12 years prior so they were like, you got bombed by all these people. They're like, but we're invading Iraq. How? They were, people were like, what? Iraq? They're like, but this guy met o- o- Osama one <laughs> what? time. Yes. And then at the same time, they used that information to go invade Iraq. They made that dude famous and that dude created ISIS. He used all that pub because the military, U.S. government was shouting him out all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. He was like, oh, snap. Y'all shouting I'm me out. the villain? He, he, and he used that, all that information to build, to build uh, ISIS. ISIS. That's just crazy to me. Yes. So now, no, to, not to mention, 
Dick Cheney was the CEO of Halliburton, which is an oil and energy company. Okay. Prior to becoming the vice president, he was a CEO. They gave him a $26, billion, a $26 million severance package. When they invaded Iraq, Cheney made sure that um, Halliburton got no bid contracts. That means Halliburton is the only person who can get the Iraq oil contracts. They can only bid them themselves. Nobody else can even... The government said, you guys are the only people. And this was all legal. This dude Cheney was pulling the... Bro, you got to That sounds watch. wrong. That's it a, is. Well, why are they allowed to do this? Because we are stupid. We wanted somebody to blame. We are either stupid or we don't care. What? This... It's, trust me, it's a lot. But you know what I care a lot about? <laughs> My performance in the bedroom. Especially... <laughs> Especially, especially when I'm in vacation. Listen, vacation <sighs> mode is a different mode. Mm-hmm. You understand me? I've been waiting for this moment for I don't know how long. You understand Just, me? <laughs> so when, when I'm traveling a lot, like I, I tell my wife this all the time. When I'm traveling a lot, I be wanting the sex, but I be tired. And it's hard to perform at a high level without a little bit of help. And a lot of times as men, we don't want to talk about erectile dysfunction. Mm-mm. It's, it's taboo, but we're getting up there in age. Mm-hmm. I'm 36, you're 56. Shut up. You know, it's tough times for men like us. Mm-hmm. So one thing that has really helped me in the bedroom is Blue Chew. Now, have you heard of Blue Chew? I have. You tell have. me more, though. Ta- I'm going to tell you all oh, me Maybe you meet a lovely lady in your life, and your little member down there, he ain't getting the call. Yeah, you, man. You get up. Him, he's get like, up. Hey, man, yeah. I, what, what's up? I didn't know. I, I thought I had a day off. Mm-hmm. But he don't got the day off. You yeah. got to call him Overtime. in. Overtime. When, when, <laughs> when you need him in... You need Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a chewable situation. Now, you know, that, that changes everything. Oh, you can chew it? You got the little small teeth, man. You can't be biting and stuff. <laughs> so I've been using it since about Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Okay, sometimes then I just be like, man, I just want to feel a little extra. <laughs> I'm like, hey, listen, we in Hawaii. I want to do Hawaiian things. <laughs> this is called Hawaiian Punch, okay? <laughs> now, Blue Chew is prescribed and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package because you know I got you. Yeah, I need that discreet package. Yeah, you got a roommate. You're yeah. like, hey, what is this? And he eats it and he's like, whoa. <laughs> candy. You don't want to be embarrassed about no. that. So you don't have to worry about going into a doctor or waiting in front of a pharmacy. And there's no awkwardness because you don't want nobody to know about this. Mm-hmm. It's made in USA and Blue Chew prepares and ships direct. And it's cheaper than a pharmacy. And if you are listening right now, there's a special deal for our listeners, visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use the special code RR. RR. And just pay $5 for shipping. Again, that's B L U E chew.com, promo code RR. RR. To try it for free. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice. And we thank them again for sponsoring the podcast. RR. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, we can live our best life. In Hawaii. Yeah. And speaking and of, of, of being happy mm-hmm. and being in a happy place, Russell Wilson is in a very happy place. Oh, man. He, he can just buy a lot signed of blue with $140 million. $140 dollars. He is the highest, highest paid, paid NFL player. NFL player. And, and the this, nicest. Absolutely. Um, I think this is the first time a black person... Or maybe Michael Vick. Michael Vick had a, Michael a crazy Vick. deal. Was he the highest paid at the time? At though? the time, I just know that black people don't be the highest paid. It usually, be quarterbacks that are white. Yeah, it's so, usually quarterbacks. There's not a lot of white. There's not a lot of black quarterbacks. No, no. There's le- usually um, less than five. Yeah. However, there might be. No, not now. It's not really a lot of black quarterbacks. There's Russell. There's Lamar Jackson. Cam Newton. Well, you, you mean starting? Yeah, like like a franchise quarterback. Oh yeah, Cam Newton. Cam probably the third Is it? one. No, there's another one. Who? Well, they just gave it to Lamar Jackson. Isn't there? No, EJ Manuel second. out the league. Yeah. Is there only three? There's only two. No, Russell, Cam. And Lamar. And he's brand new. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they would call him the franchise. Yeah, he's not franchise yet. Yeah, that's... Dang. Kaepernick? He ain't in the league. Mm. Warren Moon? <laughs> Warren Moon? <laughs> but you know what's crazy? And uh, I know I might get a lot of flack for this, and that's okay. A lot of people, when they were congratulating him, they're congratulating him and his wife. They should. She don't play football. But she Not reaps the benefit of him playing football. See, man, this is what I be sported. talking about. This she's is sported. this is a one income. This is a uh, all the money's coming into the house. So if they, so by that rationale, if oh, they break up, she gets half. Go. Does she deserve half? If they break up, does she deserve half of one hundred forty million? Yes. How long have they been together? Like two oh, years. Oh, she wasn't around through the. She wasn't with him. Shooting. So, the so she shouldn't get the hundred. So no. she shouldn't get half. Mm-mm. 
But you know, legally she could though. She he could. Did he? I'm sure he did. I don't know. He looked unless, like the, he looked like the type to not. For the through and through, that'd be different. Get this. Russell looked like the type to not sign a, a prenup. I, I don't. He Russell, looks very I, trusting. He like I just love you. I I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't sign it. And then that case, if they break up, she can have. And that's the thing I'll be talking about. It's not that I feel like I don't women think she are, will, cause he, he didn't he just buy her masters for her? Ten mil. What? He did he sign, sign it? it? He didn't oh, sign, oh, sign it. Oh, he didn't sign enough. Did he sign it? Oh. Oh. A jinx? Yeah, I'm sure she said, no, nah, I don't want to. Man, that's crazy. See. Russell and Sierra aren't going to have a prenup. An insider tells HollywoodLife.com. They're already married, right? Yeah. They got married in 2016-ish. I don't know. He was already. I think he had an $80 million deal prior to that. Bro. She can have if it's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> that's what but see, that's the problem that I have. That if This is a better example. Because this ain't Bezos. Right? It ain't Bezos. Okay. So now. So maybe you'll hop on my wagon on this one. He had money before they met. Mm-hmm. He was a star quarterback before they met. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl she, champion. Now I don't even want to hear the whole they got they have a child and she takes care. Okay, I don't. That to me is where I'm saying if they happen to break up, and I hope that they don't. I hope they make it forever. But let's just say five years from now, if they break up, she's entitled to half. You don't see an inherent problem with that? You don't think she's got bread? She got Come bread. On, she don't got don't got bread. 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 We're not gonna do that. <laughs> She don't have Sierra bread. ain't got Russell bread, bro. Don't, I'm not arguing. When was last time you bumped goodies? <laughs> Just keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred. But come on. That's, that's no shade to Sierra. Sierra, Sierra, whatever. There's no hate. But I'm just saying, come on. It's a different type of bag. It's absolutely a different type of bag. Okay. She ain't she's broke, not, though. She's not worried about money. Your whole thing, man. Them broke girls come up the street. They didn't know how to do it. They didn't try to take a hundred for the She's not broke, but I'm just... Them bags is different What's if we got to dip 15 it up. 15 million? Probably. From where? For my goodies. Yes, y'all. For you mama, I, I, for ride. mama, I want to see it. I'm told, I'm, she hasn't had like a, boop, 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 boop. Sierra hasn't had a big hit in a while. Body party? When did that come out? 2003. <laughs> come on. But that's the problem I be talking about be happening. But how do you know she won't be like, bro, don't even give me half. I ain't even how, But would you? Absolutely. So that you mean to tell me if you. Would if, I give her half or if I'm hurt? If you're hurt and you just, and y'all, y'all just break up or whatever. You know what? Really for real? For real, for real, for real. If he would have bought me my master's, I probably wouldn't even tax him. Like, if they just broke up off some... Yeah, if, if they just broke up where it was... Now, mind you, Bezos cheated. Russell Wilson, I, I highly doubt. But let's just say he cheated. Would you think that then he... Because people, I hear people say that. Well, he cheated. That don't mean you got to give up half your bread. That's just a bonehead <laughs> move. That's, that'll cost you, though. It shouldn't. That's the problem I'll be having. What, the, what you finna do about it? I don't want nobody trying to take half of all of this. You got half, half of this? <laughs> give it all to so, them. <laughs> I'll be worth more when I give it away. You're worth, you're, you're worth a thousand now. With that all, you're worth 800. <laughs> um, but I don't think she would try to tax him at all. I just That's the problem that I'll be having, that that's how the law is set up. And I just feel like that's unfair. Yeah, and here's a perfect example. He had an opportunity to protect himself from that. If he so choose, chosen, chose did, he could have said, hey, you're not entitled to my money or future earnings from my NFL thing. He could have written that down and they could have Did they love make people stupid? That doesn't make logical sense. You've worked to create $300 million. If this doesn't work in a relationship with this person, she's going to get half. Uh, I'll allow it. When somebody's a mother of your children, man, you just be thinking about it different. I give up half. Well, that's different. Y'all been together since you was 10. If I met Melissa today, I'd give up half. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, but, but shout out to him for getting the money. I just thought it was funny. Everybody was like, okay, Sierra, get it, get it, get it. She ain't through none past. Oh, she gonna ride it. This is the other thing that happens a lot of times and um, I'm not necessarily saying with this specific circumstances that circumstance that I agree with half, but she does deserve something because a lot of times I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna fit, help you fix your face. <laughs> a lot of times, what happens is because he is the primary breadwinner, and for him to succeed, someone has to sacrifice. 
And so she's not able to do, she's not able to record and go on tour and all of these things now that we have this additional child. Mm -hmm. And who's not to say he's not the one who pushed for the child, but the woman is the one who has to carry and sacrifice because you're the one doing the breadwinning. And so she had, and that happens a lot of times with women, we have to sacrifice our careers in order for our husband to continue to be the primary breadwinner. And so then you want to act a donkey and go, hump around and now I'm left to nothing because you were the primary bedroom when our agreement when we were together was such that you're the primary bed runner and to allow you to do that I'll take care of home whether that's raising the kids sacrificing my career and that has to be compensated or at least thought about in some way if you decide that but how did they come to this conclusion that half would be the because number because how do you really go about un un mm -hmm. dividing a life together you know what I mean? mm. separating soul Separating salt? I've never that. heard that one. Separating I'm, salt. But really, I like, like that how song. do you put a value on what I've given up? You know what I mean? And if she was, I mean, I don't know the trajectory of Sierra's career had she not married Russell Wilson. I mean, but you never know. No. Come on. Yeah. Like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> And that's no shame. We ain't been bumping Sierra for I know. years. I mean, and I get that. I'm just hey, saying. level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up. I just think that. that that's, I think that that's a system that is set up for, to favor the so woman. Sign a prenup when you marry Regina Hall. You sign a prenup and say, "Look, Regina, I had she these great hills before I met you." She gonna make me sign it? Oh yes. You think Regina you, would make me sign a are prenup? You kidding me? You, you gonna sign a prenup? You ain't getting half of Regina Hall. What you mean, Regina ain't getting half of me? What are you, <laughs> you serious? <laughs> what did you get? Y'all tripping, Roy. What you gonna get? I'm gonna be the breadwinner with me you and Regina. You have a fake check with a broken link. Hold I'm on. gonna be the breadwinner. Hold on, Josh. He supposed to get with Regina this August. Yeah. What is she gonna get half of? <laughs> <laughs> you see the ice? Trip. So seven dollars <laughs> right, right now. Shut up. We're moving right along <laughs> to other people that actually is no laughing matter. Laura Ingram. You know what? Um, I'm I'm very, and I'm glad that we got to get some good laughs in before we talked about her because this really irritated me and just made me it's be making me lose faith in humanity sometimes. You shouldn't. I'm gonna tell you why. Let's 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 tell. People. Oh yeah, Laura Ingram. Laura Ingram got on the news. She's a reporter for Fox, which I think like just always be having racist people saying stuff, um, but. They have a history of that, right? Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Laura Ingram gets in there. We're talking about Nipsey Hussle. And the way she spoke about this man was so disrespectful. It made me sick to my stomach. She, They referenced a song that <clears throat> she said that he just recently dropped a song called FDT, you know, F Donald Trump or whatever. First of all, that wasn't even his song, and it didn't just get released. The song's no. over two years YG old. YG song. It's YG song. He's just on it. And just the way that they talked about and they laughed. And then they even, a lot of people didn't even see the, the further disrespect. They mixed his name up with Nipsey Russell at the end. Mm. They're like, oh, Soul Train back in the day. And they were just laughing and making a mockery of somebody who was so important. And that just, I just feel like, who raised you? You know Why what I you, think? <clears throat> here's a, I agree wholeheartedly with you. And here's my thought process on this. Because I found myself getting upset at her specifically. She's mm -hmm. the same person who told LeBron to shut up and dribble. Right. Um, and then something clicked for me. You know Skip Bayless. I do. Right? You know Skip Bayless said that he doesn't even check his retweets on stuff he says. He just gauges, like he doesn't check, I'm sorry, he doesn't check his mentions. Okay. He just checks the reach on his tweets mm -hmm. just to see if what he said has, has uh, or how much what he said has enraged people. So what he says, when he when he finds stuff that gets people, he, he says that type of stuff more. So like. Really? Yes. Even if it upsets them. Even if it upset, because he he feels like all engagement's good engagement. Skip just talks about LeBron, no matter what LeBron does. If you went eighty two and zero, sixteen and zero, won a championship, beat the Warriors with no legs, uh -huh. Skip would find some way to discount that. And I don't think it's because it's how he really feels. It's just what works. It's just how people respond to it. People are saying. But your shouldn't name. there be a line that you draw? You're Not, talking about somebody who's deceased. The president of the United States <clears throat> was a reality TV person. Mm -hmm. That was his biggest claim to fame prior to this. Right. The line was erased when he said grab him by the hoo-ha and mm -hmm. still got elected. After that, you could throw out everything that you used to know about the presidency, decency, and all that type of stuff. Right. Every 
any other candidate in the history of the world. Remember Howard Dean? Howard Dean was a candidate. He went, woo And that was the end of his race. Because he screamed like that. Really? Like, literally. People were like, that was a weird thing. He's out of here. So, <laughs> so I, I decided not to get upset about this stuff because it's like the Tommy Loren thing. Uh-huh. I just block her. Because I know she's just saying stuff. She says all this stuff, and then when she's at the club, people catch her on her phone. She's listening to 21 Savage and stuff, singing 21 Savage song. These people don't really feel this way. So it's just they it's just, just say it's, it's, just... it's just clickbait. They're just they are master trolls. Their audience, uh-huh. the people who are diehard uh, MAGA supporters and stuff, they eat it a lot. But see, this is the thing. This is where I have the big problem with it. You're on a very big platform with Fox News, so mm-hmm. you can you can your reach is very far. Yeah, and for you to simplify and just categorize him as a gang member, as just somebody, you know, yeah, he did gang member. He was so much more. Oh no, than that. no let me and be you clear. put that out to millions upon millions of people and people that don't really have the the reach to know who he was or what he did in his community. They could just walk away from that like, oh, he was just another banger and he deserved it. Listen. I no, I wasn't saying that you were sticking up for her. No, no, I know, I know. But I want to be clear. I 100% agree with you. But it's like I've decided not to give my energy to certain things. Like, because all it does is frustrate me and ruin my day. Like, and I could find something like that to be mad about every single day of the week. Really but I just block Tommy Loren because that stuff be really affecting me. Like, right. And the thing is, they're they're not they're not speaking to me. Mm-hmm. They're, they're speaking, speaking to somebody. To other people and that, that person they probably think like them. Yes, and that person who who they said about Nipsey, mm-hmm. whether she did that or not, they weren't gonna have no positive thought about Nipsey. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, Pat's been talking about Pat, Patrick Cloud, protect mm-hmm. your light, protect your energy and stuff. Mm-hmm. I've been on that man because the uh, the stuff we can consume. It can really have an outlet. Like, if I consume a whole bunch of negativity on Twitter and a whole bunch of stuff and watch those we videos. We walk around mad. Bro, just walk around kissed off. Look out. Look at that water. Look how blue it is. Bro, I'm going to go out there with this. Oh, oh, whoa. No, that's what I have right now. Can you put that away, though? I'm out here. You put it away. Release it. I'm going. Children that watch this. <laughs> I'm going out You're there lactating. and enjoying my day because I realize right. there's so many things I can't. I'm, I'm not going to control what Fox says or their viewers or listeners. What I can tr- try and control is how I impact my life and the people around me and make their life better. Because otherwise, man, you can be mad about something every single day. Every second. All day. Kodak Black's another example. Kodak, Kodak, Kodak. Kodak Whack. He, I, I've just decided, you sent me the video he, and I was just like, man, I this just. Is, he, wait, what do we always say? You have to beware of the double down. Yeah. First of all, you were already disrespectful. People checked you about it. Why not just take your L? You know what, guys? I was tripping. Had a couple too many to drink. Mm-hmm. I, I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean to disrespect that man or his his woman. He has doubled down, and now he's taking it to another level. He did a diss song to towards Ti, mm-hmm. where he insulted his wife, called his wife a b word. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Tiny. He said she was ugly. Said she looked like Miss Piggy. And People then, have said those things before. and then he said. When he was talking, he he referred to his sons using the F word, and I'm not talking fun. Really? Not an F word. He said, "I would have respected more if you got one of your F A sons." Mm-hmm. I was just like, "Bro, the gay slur." Yeah, the gay slur. Why? Like, why are you doing this? Like, bro, like, why? See, this is a perfect example. But right. You're, you're, but what you're saying is right. Like, we pay attention I, and I, we give this I energy. Just muted Kodak right. Black. You know, I did. When was this? Yesterday or two this days? This is like two days ago. No, it was. It, it, it's the 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 footage dropped yesterday. I just it, I. The song came out this morning. Right? Yeah. Oh, has, really? uh, another song? No, because I heard the song last night. Sixteenth. He put something out this morning. Oh snap! He put a different song out this morning. Well, we're so far behind time. It probably was yesterday. It probably was today. But we were so far. I mean, either, either way. I mean. Kodak, Why he do it? Kodak's been just always wild. He people forget he has a sexual assault charge right and, now, pending, pending, like yeah, currently. It's, it's happening. I mean, like for me, that's that's an automatic. Like I'm off that. But I just don't process. understand. Like I think it's. Do you, and I, I was. I wanted to ask you about this. Do you think it's a time thing in the cultural way that kids were raised? This because he's only 21. Nah, me and Josh were talking about that. Though. He's not. He's raised. he's twenty one, and I, I just feel like these kids don't respect much. And I know older people used to say that about no, us. No, no, I agree. I I think he would be disrespectful by in, any time period he was born in. Because Laura Ingram is old, and she's 
disrespectful too. And people are people yeah. have been saying, you know, we, racism is going to end when 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 racist people die off. No, it's always it's, it's going to take some work right. to to make it end. It's funny you talked about Kodak. Like I spent, I'm going to tell you how I spent my day yesterday. Got up, went in a helicopter ride with my family. I've seen that. Flew from Maui to Honolulu. Mm-hmm. Spent two hours in the pool with my kids. Mm-hmm. Ordered. Did you have a t-shirt on in the pool? Uh, y'all gonna get whatever <laughs> we see, we, body I have. You see some dude at the at the pool yesterday with a t-shirt on. I was like, I was never that kid, N- bro. You draw more attention to yourself. Absolutely, and it be sticky. It be heavy. sticky. So now it just shows it. You get out. It's like, <laughs> man. It's just, I just, bro. Just this is who Got I am. In the pool, two hours playing with my kids. My son threw up in the pool. I was kind of happy because they were like they were showing no signs of wanting to get out. Mm-hmm. I was like, y'all don't, y'all don't ever want to get out. I'm like, Mm-mm, we love it. <laughs> Came from the pool, ordered room service, took a shower, ate, spent a good three or four hours watching on my block. Yo, this great you, show. Yo, no, 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 no. You should have watched it. No, it's been two weeks. Absolutely Can we talk not, about the no, ending? No, we're not. I have. About I, the we stopped. We stopped on the, about an episode of, away from the. You end are of the first lucky. Season. Because we would have talked about it. We would have talked about it. I've been. I don't want to I watched it, it watch it last year. I watched it last year. Stop it. I watched it. You're lucky he ain't watched the last episode. We would have talked about it. You tried to well, last episode on the first season. Block. Oh, you're you still on the first chat. season? Yeah. I just finished the second season. And the. It's on the first? Can I? You're still on the first season. Okay, we can talk about the first season. Can I say something about it? Yeah. You don't like it? Can I just say something? It's not that I don't like it. What? I feel like it's been hyped through the roof. It's great. Is it? It's amazing. It's a fun show. It's not the it best. is amazing. It's not one of the best, like, I'll give it fun. Do you, you I ever love feel it. like the acting is a little... It is no. Like, it's for, it's for no. Demo, though. It's that's, for ABC Family, a new kind of family. That's how I thought I was going to I yes. thought the show was great. You tripping. Like well, you have the mind of an eight-year-old. So obviously you love it. <laughs> Me and Melissa it's, were just like... Y'all didn't like it? Here's what I, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. First season, and what I've been hearing, to, in, in its defense, I've been hearing more about the second season than the first season. It, but the first season, I'm, it was like this drama. And, and like even Oscar, he he don't really strike me as a real banger. He Oscar, don't, he, he don't really? Oscar don't... I, I don't... like. The game. I watched the whole first season in like a day and a half. Me and Melissa were like, let's get on this. We literally ordered room service. We had the robes on. We was like, we in. Four o'clock. Uh-huh. At four o'clock, we decided we weren't leaving. And you didn't finish the first season? That room. We turned it off and was like, good night. I really? Sleep, you know, yeah. I just, I, again, hype train. I was expecting the most well-acted, best show I think show that that, that hurts you when somebody, because I told you how good A Star is Born was. And then when you said it, you were like, eh. And like, I don't think it was bad. You just, I just hyped it up too much for you. Yeah, but see, and Josh did I wish I would have talked to Josh because you and we missed Whoa. so funny. Me and Melissa went to the On My Block premiere at Netflix. And I had never heard of this show before. Really? Ever? We got invited to it. We were like, "Cool, cool." What is this <laughs> for the second season? Mm-hmm. We were like, we "Didn't know what was going on." Tacos were amazing, though. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna give it another shot because uh, it's, the, it's the, what I don't like about it is the cliffhangers they give you on both season finales. This is like so. Once you get to the cliffhanger, this one is gonna be like. I had to wait until it, yeah. the second season came, and then the I just f- felt like I was too old for the drama. Like, no. you kiss Julia, no, Hector, Cesar, see, so Cesar, you cannot be in the gang. Cesar. You should be with us. Cesar. But I cannot. My brother, he was in jail, but he got out. Once he got out, he said, "You are in the gang now." But I don't want to be. But you must be. I am a Santos now. I must be in the gang, but I don't want to. <laughs> what are you talking, Cesar? Cesar. <laughs> Uh, the little dude is fun. The black I kid like is the, so the black dude oh, he, and the small Mexican kid. No, best Ruby, part. But no, Ruby is Ruby's the best. Oh, Ruby's great, funny. and his grandma. This and oh, share the hilarious. With his grandma. This is the good thing about it, though. Second season, the acting steps up tremendously. That's what everybody said. The girl, what's the one girl's name? The uh, the bigger girl, the Latin girl, who's like oh the, Jasmine. She's like she's she is thirty two years you know, old. Is she? Of, she's yes. part of a I knew she wasn't yeah. no teenager. She's thirty two. She's booming though. But I She's was like, funny, the, second, the second yeah. season, her and Ruby, like, they're running laps around the rest of them. Oh, really? Wise. I was just like, it's almost like when Leo acts with certain other actors, you just be like, they don't even deserve to be on the same. I never had that thought. You didn't see Greg Gatsby? Yeah. You didn't see Blood Knight? I'm not talking about Leo. Well, you're talking about Leo for, well, Greg Gatsby just stunk all around. Well, I'm saying Leonardo, well, okay, that, Leonardo DiCaprio is such a good actor. When you put him on screen with other actors that don't match up, you can see the discrepancy between the two. He's a great actor. You that, put an F there, huh? <laughs> you just be like, I like this letter here. <laughs> but it's discrepancy. I say what I want. <laughs> but uh, no, it's you got to watch the sex season. He, but you're right. I actually didn't think about 
I couldn't tell if it was him or that movie just stunk without right. him. But but uh, Tobey Maguire brought absolutely nothing. Yeah. To the table, I was like, "Bro, why are you in? Why here? are you even in this? And why did you do that thing in Spider Man Three? I I've never <laughs> forgive him. I'll never forgive him. What he was doing the dance? Oh, oh, I was, I was just, just like, that was probably, that probably was like exact scene that was just like, yeah, we're not gonna. This is kind of it. Cut it. We can put him in a rom com. <laughs> It's over for him after this He point. actually did it. After that, it was quiet for him. Quiet for Every him. Every time he auditioned, people would just see that in their mind. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't. He yeah. stunk it up. Shout out to Tobey Maguire. Uh, <laughs> and the lack thereof of a career he I'm has. I'm going to give one on my block another try, though. You have to. It's amazing. But if it ain't good by the second season, y'all buy me dinner. Side note. Can I just nah, say? Nah, nah, Josh. You buy me dinner. I'll buy you dinner. I owe you dinner. If it ain't good. Nah, I owe you dinner. Incredible. You don't owe me dinner yes, for I nothing, cuz. No, I'm glad you brought it up. What do you owe me dinner for? No, man. You just... Oh, I'm taking you there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even in the conversation. No, no, but you didn't listen to the conversation, man. I appreciate you guys. I just, I just inserted myself in the little situation. <laughs> I'm going I'm to finish the first season and I'm going I'm to watch the second season. Yeah, you... That, side it's a note. a long flight back to... Uh, We're just not going to that Wolfgang Steakhouse. I'm going to tell you that right now. Side note. Is this a thing? Have I, have I, 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 am I the only person that's dealing with this? Netflix, for as much good stuff they have, there's a lot of trash. Well, here's the thing about stuff that. on Netflix. They actually admitted that. Whew. So, when they first started, <clears throat> something like 80% of their viewing content was repurposed stuff. Repurposed stuff. Okay. Uh, with Orange is the New Black and House of Cards. Like, in order for them to make it as a, as a platform, they had to do original content. Because Disney. everybody started pulling their content. Yes. Disney's pulling, they're starting to Disney their Plus? Disney yeah, Plus is about to be what? out of here, boy. Is that all the Avengers? Disney Plus Everything. is Avengers, Star Wars, every episode of The Simpsons ever. I forgot Disney had um. They own The Fox. Simpsons? They, just, they bought, they bought Fox? Fox? Yes. They get Martin? Yes. I mean, they might. I don't think they're putting that on Disney Plus, though, but... It's an amazing show. Yeah, but Martin be on it's, it's, it's all the time. It's synced everywhere. Yeah, it's synced everywhere. So Disney Plus has new Marvel stuff. New that hasn't stuff. come out yet? Yes. New movies that are going to come out on Disney Plus. They won't come to the theaters? No. And that's why all the Netflix shows, uh, Luke Cage, uh, uh, just, not Jessica Jones. Avengers. Uh, no, Punisher, no, no. Defenders, Daredevil. Punisher. They canceled all that stuff because they're going to move all that stuff. And it's only six bucks. Six bucks? And Netflix, my Netflix just went up to $14 because I have like four screens. Week. But are you ever really going to get rid of Netflix? No, no, no. But that's what the point I was making is in order for Netflix they to, to compete, they had to make original content. And the more stuff you... So when they first only had those two shows, they could like, okay, we got to make sure this stuff is perfect. Mm-hmm. In order to compete with other people, you gotta you just got to throw some stuff out there. But I feel like... And what now they're just doing, like a regular network. But man. now I feel like what they're doing, they're just making shows like other shows. Like there's a show called Black Summer. It's The Walking Dead. Essentially, that's all that's, it is. That's fine because that's still their IP. At the end but of the that's day. I don't I I've, I probably watched over the last week and a half like six things that I didn't make it out of the first ten minutes. But of. here's like, the thing though: just, how often do you watch cable? And well, how much stuff is constantly running through cable? Too? That's and the thing. I only watch a, like, only the only thing I watch is Black Ink really on cable and sports stuff. You watch Black Ink? I'll, I'll <laughs> fire on the only you. Person Chicago. I've ever what? You're the only person I've ever heard that watches Black Ink. Look like this. Can't feel like this. No. Yeah, I get it. I'm good. I'm not trying to hide this. Whoa! What? What do you think I'm trying to hide this for? No, oh. I don't care. I don't know what's happening. Like, look like Queen Latifah's body and Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of hot. I know. Okay, this has been another Wait, no, episode. Let it stay. No. Be comfortable. Bro. It's a little man boob amongst friends. No, it's look uncomfortable. Look at the chest hair. There's what's no going on with the chest hair? There's only a moment. That's a lot going. Okay, all right. They're kind of this is this has been thing. another great installment of Righteous and Ratchet. Shout out to the Patreons. If you would like to become one of the Patreons, where you get a bonus episode every week, new bonus episode on Sunday when we get back to the mainland. Go to righteousandratchet.com and join the right pack. Be down with us. We appreciate you. I don't feel like we really need to do a one gotta go today. Let's just one gotta go to the beach. <laughs> huh? <laughs> one gotta go to the buffet. This when guy. we get back to our office, we will be doing our one guy goals thing. and stuff. We've been we've been going through a lot, okay. but uh, we love y'all. We th- thank you guys for tuning in, and if you do nothing else, just share the video. And we're gonna exit out, starting to the left. Right, just and right, just and right, just and right out of here. Peace. Okay, please cover that up. Seriously. <laughs>